Hello Fushimi Inari. This is how I imagined Kyoto to be. Beautiful greenery covered in bright reddish orange tori gates. While I found other attractions in Kyoto not worth the hype, Fushimi Inari is still one of my favorites of Japan. Before entering the shrine, you can begin by first purifying yourself at a chosia. Grab yourself a wooden ladle and purify your left hand. Next, you purify your right hand. Then, serving yourself with your right hand, you purify your mouth. Finally, purify the ladle and the ceremony is complete. Foxes are considered messengers around here. Tell me, what does the fox say? We decided to visit at night to avoid the blistering heat during the two hour hike. I started off with a lot of moxie, but my buttons started burning out pretty quick. There are over 10,000 gates, and you can see the different wear and tears they are donated throughout time. It's hard to believe that the shrine is a part of the city. It's like looking into a whole different world. Plus, the viewpoints are a nice break from moving. Hati, hati, hati ho. Cat's really nari at night. Help. You've probably noticed the inscriptions on the gates. They're of the names of the people and businesses who donated for the gate and the date that the Tori was donated. People donate to show that they are thankful for their blessings, and many visit the shrine to pray for success and prosperity. Live long and prosper. Thankfully, my prayers were answered when we survived making it to the top. Good night, Kyoto.